Well, friends, we're back at it again. Yet another day back on the clutch. At least our parts came in, at least the major stuff. Get a brand new flywheel here. Heck of a deal. It was under $50, so I can't argue with that. You might as well just go ahead and replace it. And we got a replacement clutch and pressure plate set from Luke. It comes with throw out bearings, an alignment tool, pilot bearing. And there's the pieces right there. Really nice stuff. So, as soon as we can get this stinking transmission out of this truck, we can get to work on putting this in. So, stand by. I'll show you what nonsense we're going to be getting up to today. Okay, so, next mode of attack. Got an exhaust pipe. That's the front of the truck. Here's a cross member. You can see what kind of room I have and don't have on that. Yeah. There's the other hanger back here on this other cross member, which is welded into the frame. So, you need to get the front end of that exhaust pipe off the exhaust manifold. And that will be next. Okay, so we're under the truck. And there's the three nuts that hold the pipe onto the exhaust manifold. It's a little light for you. One, two, three. Oh, these are 14 millimeter. I sprayed these a couple days ago, let them soak to get ready. We'll see how well that does. I'll take them off right now and come right back. And surprise, surprise, something actually worked as designed. <laughs> Got the nuts off okay, got the pipe separated from the manifold. I wasn't expecting too much trouble because I just did this less than two years ago. Junkyard manifold that I got from Jim's Yoda in Colorado for 80 bucks, which is a deal because they don't make reproduction ones of this these anymore for the 20R. 22R you can get all day long, they make those new. But I got that pipe loose. It should give me a little more room to work under there. See if I can show you something. I don't know how well that's going to show up. But nice and loose. Off the studs. So, I can now get under there and see about that cross member. Stand by. Okay, so that worked. I'm batting two for two today. Got the cross member out of the way. Off the transmission mount. Transmission is jacked up. I jacked up just enough to get the pressure off the cross member. That's all I needed. See what else we got here. All the way up there, right in the left, are two 17 millimeter bolts. That's all that's left holding the transmission onto the engine. If I can pitch it down about 10, 15 degrees, I should be able to get it. The front motor mounts are flexible enough that they'll do it. I've got a block and a jack up there to make sure it doesn't sink too far. Make sure nothing gets hurt. So we're going to try that next and see where we get. Stand by. Oof. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but look at this. <laughs> wow. It's almost every half inch extension I've got. Starting back here. Going all the way up. Up there to 17 millimeter. I'm gonna, I've tried doing this by hand, it's too tight. So I got the uh, impact gun ready. Got it in reverse, just gonna try to spin it loose a little bit. I don't wanna do it all the way. So we'll see how that goes here in a second. Uh, leave you running, I may speed it up. Hopefully you can see what's going on here. Uh, noise alert coming, just to let you know. Uh, there we go. Air supply. There she goes. It's loose. Let's 
see if I can get her out of here. There she goes. Wow, that's a long one. And ready to hit the ground. Beautiful. There you go, folks. Look at that. It's a long one. One more on the other side, and we'll be good to go on that. Hot darn. I love it when things actually work the way they're supposed to. That's just amazing. Let's see if we can reach it. Is how I'm gonna get these back in. <laughs> there you go, me thinking ahead as usual. Come on, baby, get in there. Noise coming. Mm. Not moving. It's not moving. Okay, so we'll leave that right there. We'll see what we can't do. Get some WD-40 in there or something. Oh, I'll be right back. Okie finoki. We got the top bolt, two bolts out. We got both of them. I'm just stunned at this point. <laughs> can't believe it worked. So now we're gonna see if we can't pull this thing out of here. We'll pull it straight back and see what happens. I'll let it run for a while. If there's not much to look at, I won't include it later. I'll edit it out. But hey, the struggle, watching people struggle is an entertaining thing, isn't it? <laughs> so it might be a struggle, it might not. I don't know. We'll find out here. So, there we go. Shell back here. Hopefully you can see everything. Bring this down a little bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna try this lever first. Uh, turn that wheel. Steady up. Fold this up and make it neater. Yeah, well, that's enough. That's enough of this struggle, okay? I'm gonna turn this off and work on it. What do you think about this, folks? Holy God. <laughs> got it, though. I got it. She's out. I haven't had a chance to do much inspection left yet. Oh, that pressure plate up there looks a little rusty. Whew. I got her. Now we'll just get ready to get another piece of cardboard under here, <clears throat> under that transmission so I can slide her out. <sighs> Not a minute too soon either. Looks like it's going to storm here in about 10 20 minutes. Oh. oh, 
goodness gracious. A lot of leaking oil. I, I drained this transmission, but it didn't seem to make any difference. Still leaking out the end. That don't look too bad. Let's see what's going on. Wow, do you hear that? I throw up bearing is for crap. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll go, I'll go through the diagnosis on this later. I just wanted to hear it since I could reach it. I thought you'd want to hear it too. Here, hang on. Here, right here. There it is. It's not supposed to make that noise. It's not supposed to make hardly any noise. Okay. Let me get another piece of cardboard under here. We'll get this thing out. Oh, I've got a clip missing too. Clips is missing. Hmm. Not so bad in here. Oh well. <sighs> Sorry for the long silence. <sighs> Just over here looking at it. Don't even know where I'm leaving stuff. There we go. Everything out. It looks a bit off center. Pilot bearing's still there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, six bolts. <sighs> That's going to be coming apart next. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> what an ordeal. So we got to get the pressure plate off of there, the clutch disc. There's a pilot bearing back in there. This this plate here is going to come off. And I got to do the rear main seal, which I haven't mentioned yet. It's not a big deal. It's a big deal to get to it, which is where everybody always goes, rear main seal, oh no. Well, that's why, because of all this work. Oof. Hmm. Let me check these fingers here for a second. Well, not a lot of ridge. 
Not a lot of ridge at all. No little fingers sticking up. Huh. Looks like I've got a little weak though. They're not as crowned as they usually are. They're usually more out this way. Okay. So, ow. As long as I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. Stand by. Holy shnikes. Here's the uh, pressure plate. Get a light. Got all the bolts out. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, so who's got the, who's got the guess on uh, <laughs> whether this one's going to come off or not? Hmm? Let's find out. Ugh. Ugh. Shoot. Man, this is just tearing me up. Pretty good today. Pretty good. Hope y'all can see that. Don't know how good that lighting is. Ugh. Do not have a drop light. Oh boy. Look at the junk fall down. <laughs> and that don't even want to move. <laughs> oh, I meant to leave that for another day. I don't know yet. Oh, I wish I could get my big screwdriver. And of course, as usual, it's just out of my reach. Lovely. Just normal. Ugh. Let's see what we can see. said as if he knew what he was looking at. <laughs> I think the clutch disc is probably done. I would really like to see that flywheel, which actually doesn't look half bad, but I've been through this before and I've lost several matches with the starter before. Uh, that's why I decided I just gotta get a new flywheel on it. it looks pretty thick. Oh, uh, it bangs in there. I haven't lost it. I haven't lost any of that yet. Uh, man, I need that screwdriver. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, fix you up. <clears throat> Don't fall over again. Mm. 
Ow! That didn't feel good. This dropped out from behind it. There we go. Eh. Pressure plate don't look half bad. But those springs are really flattened out. So, time for another one on those, that's for sure. <clears throat> wow, what in the world is this? What the hell that is? I actually still had some material on the front side of this. And that was the pressure plate side. Back side? It's getting close. Getting close. <sighs> that one's almost even. That sunk. That sunk. That sunk. Hmm. Looks all right. I'm gonna pull these out in the sunlight and have a look at them too, and I'll show you. Just if, out of curiosity. Oh, oh flashlight. Yeah, there's a little bit of heat spotting. Hmm. Uh. Uh. Damn, stuff in my eyes. I hate that. Ugh, God almighty. Here, I'll bring it up here. I don't know how well you can see it, but so here's a little bit of blue patch right there, a little streak of blue there. <clears throat> and a little bit more up there. Wow. Okay, so. I'm going to leave that just the way it is right now. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm freaking done. I'm about done. I don't know if I want to pull those or not. Uh, I guess I could. Let's find out. Hang on. Yeah, we're going to go for it. we got six 17 millimeters right here on the flywheel. I'm going to go ahead and get them out because I'm tired of being under here. Oof. <laughs> And yeah, of course we're going to cheat. <clears throat> oh, hang on. Damn. You guys need to stop drinking when you hang out with me. You'll keep falling over. <laughs> oh, let's try this. Hope y'all can see. And then we're still in reverse, we're still in reverse. Good. That would be one of my favorite tools. Shirt. 
and see if we can pull this flywheel off. As usual, not budging. Ah, oh, goodness me. Oh, let's look at the flashlight. There we go. There's the pilot bearing. You can see that a little bit better now. But every other guy on YouTube would think so another thing to take the bolts out and the flat wall just flies off and falls off. It's no big deal. Yeah, right. What happened? <laughs> Bull. Don't work like that. Never did work like that. Made for TV movie. Hmm. As usual, we don't have proper tools. Don't know how well you can see that, but I got the backing plate off and now I've got a little bit of a homemade tool I'm using as a slide hammer to pull that pilot bearing. It's slow, but it's, it's coming. It's a lot better than throwing the grease in there and trying to pop it out, which wouldn't have been easy because everybody says use a 3 8 extension, use the square end. The square end doesn't fit in this pilot bearing. So you'd be screwed. You have to go looking around for a bolt that fits inside that hole just right. And it's an odd size. I had to buy an Allen head bolt and trim it down to get it to work the way I want it to. Just enough to actually have it go inside like that. And it's got a little bit of lip on the back. But instead of, being, instead of keep it straight like this, you just let it drop to one side, this side, that side. It grabs both sides of it and you can slide hammer it. And as you can see, it's coming out right there. Let's give it a few more whaps, see what, see what happens. Uh. 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 Whoa, there it goes. See? Hope I can get any uh, lubricant in your eye. There you go. Just like that. So, quick wrap up. Transmission out. Pressure plate's off, clutch disc is off, flywheel's off, pilot bearing is out. Uh, stop short at the oil seal, I'll do that later, tomorrow probably, if I can get under the truck again. Just getting up and getting down is a little tough on me. Uh, but that's done. Um, not displeased with it today, things went fairly well. Here's a stiffer plate that goes up behind the flywheel. Whew. And as you saw, we got the uh, bench grinder out with the wire wheel, cleaned up our bolts, nuts, and hardware and things, and got more cleaning to do tomorrow. See, I got all my bolts and nuts in here, and I've got my bags full with marks as to what they are. All in one place so I don't lose them. Whew. So there you go. And now since it's still only two o'clock and it's going to be at least two and a half hours till the wife gets home and because this looks like this, I guess I need to cut the front yard. Not so bad. I'm already sweat up and dirty. So, hey, what do heck? <laughs> so there you go. Thanks y'all for watching. I'm going to, there's going to be more coming. You know, thank God we're finally on the part where we just get to clean stuff and replace stuff and, you know. Not the twister under the truck. So that'll be good. But I'll show you. I'll tape it. I'll put it up for you. Hopefully it helps somebody out. Hopefully you're looking for information about how this stuff goes together. How you get it done. So again, thanks for watching. Appreciate your patience. See you next time.